All right, in this video, let's talk about how to fix your website when things go wrong. This is something that you cannot avoid. So sometimes you may update plugins, things are gonna break, or maybe your website is running well, but Divi pushes out a uh, an update and this can make things not look so great. So this video is going to help us fix these problems. All right, so over here, the first way you need to fix your problems on your website is by coming all the way down here to Divi and click on theme options. So what we want to do here is when something does go wrong, we want to revert to the previous working version. And to do that, you want to click here this, on this last tab, it says updates. And you can you see here where it says uh, roll back to previous version. This usually fixes a lot of the problems. So if everything was working okay with Divi and then something breaks, roll back to the previous version and then try and work out and see where the problem could be. Or sometimes if you don't have the time, just wait until they up, uh, upload a, uh, an updated version and that usually fix things. This is how I use this rollback feature. And what you could also do as well is if there's a bug, you can always report the bug and uh, they could fix it in the next uh, version. Let's move on to the next part. So the next part is getting support. So this type of support we're talking about is remote support. We want that a Divi engineer or an Elegant Themes engineer connect to our website. And this is how we do it. So if you click here on support center, this takes us now to this tab here. So here you can show your full report for your website and just see um, how your website is running. So let's click here and see. So already I can see I'm running uh, PHP version, WordPress version, and you know, all that kind of stuff. Some of this will <laughs> make your head spin. But anyway, the most important thing here is if everything is looking fine here, that means that your report is good. So let's hide the report. Sometimes the uh, support team may require uh, you to take a look at this report. But what I really want to focus on here is this area here. So if you click here on Elegant Theme Support, this is going to allow um, remote access to the engineers. So I've enabled it. So now I can activate full admin privileges. Okay, so that means when the engineer connects to our website, they are able to try and work out where the problem is. So once you've enabled these two, you can click here on Copy Support token. Okay, so I've copied that. Now you can go to chat with support. So if I go over here on the bottom right, in fact, uh, I'm in the way here, let me move myself. So on the bottom right here, if you click this, this opens up uh, this uh, pop up. So this is where you can chat with the engineer, blah, 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 blah. And uh, let's say if the engineer wants to take a look at your website, you know that, to that, that token that we copied, we paste that token, that's the token that's gonna allow the engineer to log into your website. But if you really wanna try and find out what the problem is, you can simply go through a lot of this help stuff over here. So here, let's take a look at that. So I'm just gonna minimize this, okay? So let me just move myself back here so we can give ourselves some space. Okay, there we go. So over here now we have our documentation. So you can take a look at all these tutorials. There's a ton of tutorials here, the Divi Builder tutorials. And there's also a community forum, there's Facebook groups, and these are areas which can help. But let me show you what's even better. So if we come over here to our website, and uh, let's say we start using Divi, so I'm going to go into a specific place here. So I'm going to click on add new and just create a new page so I can show you where this support is. So I'm just going to close this and I'm just going to call this page support. So I'm going to click, click on use Divi Builder. Okay, now I'm just going to hit start building. Okay, so the beauty of using Divi is it has support built in. I mean, we have videos and everything that you can uh, that you can take a quick look at. So here I've just quickly gone in and um, I want to show you where the support is. So if I click on this gear icon, every time you see this help, it's going to show us some videos. So this videos relates to the sections, uh, the section settings. So introduction to sections, we have design sections and advanced sections. You can just click here and this video is right there ready for you to click and play. Here, saving and loading from the library. If you want to learn how to do that, just click on that video and boom, if you click on it, it starts playing. You can also detach this. So look at that. So now it has a much better interface. You can drag it around, put it over here in the corner while you're designing your site, quickly look at it and then come over here and solve that problem. Now, this does not only apply to sections. This pretty much applies across the whole of Divi. So now let's go into rows. So let's go, let's say I go into rows. I'm going to close that. 
So if I click on this gear icon, I gain. If I click on this gear icon, scroll all the way down, here is the help. Click on that and boom. These are to do with the rows. So let's do one more thing. If I come over here to say modules. So let's say this time I want to take a look at the buttons. If I click on that and I scroll all the way down, click on the help. This is to do with the button. So you can see here the DV button module. So it uh, gives you the introduction and then it also uh, tells you how to or shows you how to design the settings and also saving and loading from the library. So as you can see, this is a really, really comprehensive way of getting DV to work for you. You can either use support or you can go through the documentation and even watch these videos as you're building your website.